Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back pitch side. I'll grab your attention for just a second because we are delighted to welcome Cork's own Sinead Kane to Irish Independent Park. Sinead recently became the first visually impaired person to complete the World Marathon Champion. Let's have a quick look at the big screen before we talk to her. Have a look at Sinead in action. <laughs> We must quickly thank race director, Galway man Richard Donovan for provi providing us with those clips. Sinead, thanks for joining us today. An amazing feat. You began in the Antarctic. Chile, Miami, Madrid, Marrakesh, Dubai and Sydney. The, the Antarctic, I think, stands out because of the weather conditions. Tell us what it must have been like for you. There must have been an awful lot of highs and a lot of lows along all that journey. Tell us a bit about that amazing experience. Well, thanks very much for having me here. Um, I have 5% vision. I have aniridia coloboma, nystagmus and glaucoma. To do the World Marathon Challenge with seven marathons, seven continents in seven days, it was a mental, physical and logistical operation. A lot of sleep deprivation, a lot of rushing around, not time to think. But I did it because I wanted to show people that a girl from East Cork, y'all, can put y'all, Cork and Munster on the global map and that when people tell you that you can't do something that you can do it and I'm a very very proud Munster person to go into the record books and the first Irish female to do it and your disability does not hold you back. Inspiring words. Tell me about the World Marathon Challenge and how you got, how you got involved in it. Well, I got involved in it because I did the Volcano Marathon, which is also organised by race director Richard Donovan, a man who I'm so grateful to because he believed in me when other people didn't believe in me. And also my guide runner, John O'Regan, is standing here beside me. I couldn't have done the World Marathon Challenge without John because for me to run, do the marathons, I need a guide runner. We need to be tethered up. We need, he needs to say to me, left, right, up, down. It, as John always says, it's about communication, not conversation. And to make the dream work, you have to have teamwork. And I know that in Munster, that you all have teamwork. So I follow that. John, you also ran the seven marathons in seven days and seven continents. So congratulations to you as well. Wonderful feat, isn't it? Yes, it is. And thanks very much. And at this moment, I'm wishing I was back in Antarctica because it was actually warmer than it is here now at the moment. <laughs> Listen, we, we are so happy to have you. John O'Regan, congratulations to you. If you want to have one more look at the medals, have a look at the big screen. You've got to focus in on these seven continents, seven marathons in seven days. Sinead and John, we are very proud of you from all of us here at Munster. Thank you for being with us, Sinead. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your support and your appreciation to Cork's own, from you all, Sinead Kane. Yeah.